All right, ready? Hey, I'm Professor Joe Hellerstein. Welcome to the Data School. We're not gonna talk about the history of jazz in America. We're gonna talk about data wrangling. Everything from the user experience of it to how to scale it up to really big data sets in the cloud. It's gonna be a whole series of videos, so stick around. Let's get started. Data strategy is critical to every modern business, but so much is changing about data all at once right now. Today, we're gonna to break that down, factor out the complexity, and focus on the big shifts that we're seeing in the landscape of modern data and analytics. There's a popular book on leadership by Simon Sinek. It's called Start With Why. He asks three simple questions, which he calls the golden circle. Why, what, and how. In this video, we'll work through all three of these questions to get a clearer sense of why a new strategy is required for modern data analytics. Let's start with why. Traditionally, enterprises use data for measurement. Now, measurement is important, but it's limited. It's a descriptive, backwards-facing function that we support with charts and dashboards. It's useful for getting a picture of what happened in the past. Today, while measurement remains important, enterprises analyze data for much more strategic purposes that center on growth. Data has become key to competitive advantage. In this setting, data is a predictive, forward-facing function that helps us assess what's coming next. In short, the business value of data and analytics has exploded over the last decade. Data is at the strategic center of businesses today, which answers the question of what the big shift is and why. Our next question touches on the changing nature of data itself today. What data does an organization manage these days? Traditionally, organizations gathered transactional data. This is data that comes from the closure of a transaction at the point of sale. It's typically structured, well understood data for the organization. All of that has shifted dramatically with the rise of the internet, mobile phones, and the emerging internet of things. These enormous data generating machines are generating data at a scale that we've never seen before. Instead of millions of transactions, we're seeing billions of interactions that people have around an organization's business. All this diversity raises challenges in understanding, transforming, and analyzing that data. Solving these problems can extract critical features that let subject matter experts extract value from the data and drive growth for the business. Our next question, how, follows directly from the exploding value of data that we've just described. These days, every line of business needs to get eyeballs on data. Traditionally, data was centrally managed by IT groups and it was their job to provide an interface to the lines of business. If anyone in the line of business actually wanted to get data, they would have to issue a request, typically through some ticketing management system, to the IT department to get their question answered or to get a cut of data that they could work with on their desktop. Now this worked at a small scale, typically for management, but with all of the new needs and uses for data in the business, this has to be completely flipped. To track the changes in why, the picture has to shift so that data is at the center, typically in the cloud. IT remains responsible for provisioning cloud resources, while end users can reach in and get eyeballs directly on data in its purest form. Now, the reason we're working with data is all these folks in the line of business have to work day to day in an agile fashion, getting access to data. They can't funnel through this difficult pipeline with IT. At the same time, these IT folks need a way to have a rational, managed, curated set of data there that can be relied upon. And so what we need is what we call managed self-service. This managed self-service is sometimes called the democratization of data. It's the way that sophisticated organizations are setting up data and infrastructure in the cloud. So the shift in how is clear. These days, everybody needs to be in the game. We need to empower the lines of business to be able to drive the business forward using data. Where do we go from here? All that's left then is to put together the strategies and the technologies to move your organization in the direction where the competition is heading. 
You may have heard that 80% of the problem in any data analytics project is data wrangling. We heard that loud and clear from the field. Innovations in technology like data wrangling and the cloud are allowing businesses to work across organization to attack the new problems and new competition in the market. Over the course of this series of videos, we're going to go through these big questions and talk about the changes that are happening in technology and in practices around data with a special focus on data wrangling. I hope you'll join us.